Hello guys, welcome to Darkest Detailing. Today I'm going to be showcasing our new detailing van that we picked up pretty much just a day ago. So yeah, we are over the moon with it. It looks bloody beautiful, perfect for our logo, colours matching and it's very flashy. That's what you want, you know, you want people looking at you. You want people looking at the van, getting that business rolling. And yeah, what I'm going to do, first take a few videos around the vehicle, show you guys what it has, the features of it, blah blah blah. Because I just bought it like this, look, wheel's done already. Anyway, I'll show you it all. And then I'm going to run through the numbers, how much it is on finance, because it is on finance, didn't buy upright, not that rich. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's do it. to get birds now look thank you thank you for that so good we originally planned to get this van for june time because i became back registered start of april so we can get the quarterly back return and we'll be able to have a high deposit to get the van but we had an amazing april i was literally here at the unit 16 hour days most days seven days a week flat out busy busy and we hit a month first time ever over 10k which is over over the moon i'm so grateful obviously not with that profit but a decent amount was and that's why my mini over there that corner mini i had to buy it to you know have in the meantime to save up for the deposit for this it was 500 pounds that mini i had to sell the gt6 downgrade in order to upgrade in the future hopefully um, you know upgrade decent it's a decent van you know for the company that's all that will make us more money and that's what we wanted you know sitting inside the van now nice and comfy seats beautiful literally the inside is immaculate after obviously we quickly cleaned it not quickly like nicely cleaned it for us but um there wasn't much to clean even like in the little details there if you notice like there the crevices because we're detailers we obviously get it all in there everywhere everywhere it was it wasn't bad at all it wasn't bad at all and like we shocked how it was kept so well you know and then the first time we saw it you know they mentioned they only had one owner and um, that one owner, in fact, it was a detailer as well. So he had it from brand new. He kept it, looked up to it, looked up to it, looked after it very, very well, as you can see. And yeah, the seats are gorgeous. I think the seats been uh, restitched. Leather, look at them, they're bloody gorgeous. All protected by us as well. So they last for a very long time. The only, the only thing I can complain about in the inside is the leather steering wheel, you know over time it's not even even if you take care of it protect every single day you know after a while it's going to get like that you know it will but i'm going to take it to royal steering wheels they are in elsby area some point get that sorted right now i'm a little bit skimmed with money because <laughs> we still need to build the back of the van get the water tank in there we're going to film it all of course show you guys how we're going to do it and yeah for the time being i might just do it like a quick thing there you know for the time being so we can get to the customers we obviously do have a unit as you can see this is a unit but um a lot of the customers we get you know quite wealthy they are quite busy you know that's the that's the issue so they can't always drive up the cars here get a lift down back home that's why we need to get a van asap so we can maintain it for them for all our uh, clients make them happy and yeah we finally got one another thing i love about this van is the heated windscreen obviously right now it's quite hot well hot in the uk like 15 degrees is bloody boiling for us it's got a heated windscreen so in the winter months when it's iced up and stuff turn that on boom and freezes hopefully it works i guess <laughs> the same for the mirrors as well they are they have the heated wind mirrors what else they always got it's been tinted already as you can see literally all the work that we would have bloody done if the van wasn't you know all done up it's already done the wheels are, I don't know how much the wheels are, I can't even find them, they're lovely, they are beautiful. The sidebars, done. All done, you know, the one thing that we'll do at some point as well is a wiper delete at the back. Let me show you guys. We'll do a wiper delete so it looks more, you know, nicer. Then at the back, we're gonna have logos. Oh, my knee just clicked, old man, too much dim. We're gonna have like here, the bottom, it's gonna say, in a matte black letters, Daddy, Daddy, like Caddy, Daddy, Digas, and that's the you know company's. That's my surname. 
I think it'll be quite cool. <laughs> Why not? One thing that I noticed in this paint, it has quite a lot of orange peel. Uh, it's not, you know, I've seen worse on cars, but maybe at some point we'll do like a flat and polish in the vehicle, get it looking more, more nicer, you know, but that's a story for a different day. The van has 63,000 miles. I already put on it in a few days having it, probably like 300, because we picked up from north to here, it's like 100, roughly 100 miles. And uh, I'd just be driving about, you know, taking friends out, you know, just enjoying it. One thing though, bloody, we went out, um, not went out, out just we, we went like a beer or so in a town in Ellsbury today, not today, yesterday. And um, I don't know if probably some of you are from Ellsbury, you know, if you're watching this, the Odeon car park. The when you drive up it, it's okay, but this car is so low at the front, you know. Even I tried to angle it out of that car park as much as I could, you know, like sweeved round you know because i had um a low gta6 in the past but that was still a bit higher than this with the split at the front and uh i lightly bloody <laughs> i scraped not scraped i cracked the front splitter it's not too bad but there's literally no other way of getting out of that car but without doing it you know even as much as you overturn it's still going to happen which is very very frustrating but those splits are not too expensive like 80 pounds or so so yeah it's okay it could be worse most of these cases are bulletproof they have the injection injectors fault in also so i'm not a mechanic so if i said all the detail leave me alone and uh that could fail luckily with the lovely guys vogue automotive group something like that I'll put the link down below they uh, they gave me uh, two years free not free warranty it was at like 300 pounds or so for two years which is amazing you know after that i can always buy it or so so if that ever happens we got the warranty on it. The one thing that we'll need changing at some point, I believe, is the cam belt because that should be done from 60 to 80,000 miles as it's recommended in the service. And yeah, the van was listed for 18 and a half K. I tried to bargain down in a nice way, but unfortunately, they're lovely guys. And uh, I hate when people bargain me for my detailing stuff, I'm quite firm as well. So, you know, they didn't let go a single penny because they know how rare this colour is on the van and they saw me like it, like the wheels and stuff. It's all been done up. So, yeah, they didn't, unfortunately. But we had a service done on it before we picked it up. Uh, the caps got, like, refitted nicely. And, yeah, happy, very happy. This is for 18 and a half k Originally, I was, I got my finance advisor to get me finance on a van that was 18 k which was a black one that we went to see originally, but I didn't like it. And then we saw this. This one was five hundred pounds more. So on that black one, I said to him, I wanted to put down a two and a half k deposit to obviously have the cash in the business. But um, so I got approved on that, perfectly fine for sixty months. The longer the better for me, cash flow. But um, then this one was only five hundred pounds more, and they wanted a three point four k, I think, deposit, something like that. So he tried to talk to them, you know, it's only five pounds more, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's because of their age is a bit newer or so. They didn't, you know, they didn't want to or so. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So the deposit is was 3.4K, I believe. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so we put that down. And then our monthlies are £340 a month for 16 months. That is for the finance, for this caddy. And there is no balloon payment at the end. Which is amazing, you know, it is for 60 months. The APR rate is 12% for them as a company. What I got, which is, he said it's still not too bad compared to some of the other ones he gets. Sorry, my hands are aching. And yeah, so 12% last year when I tried to get a van, but I couldn't afford it at the time. I got APR of 6%, but he said a lot, a lot of things have changed, you know. To borrow money is so expensive. So yeah, the APR is 12%. So over those five years, five years, six years, five years, I think, so I'll be paying uh, like 5k in interest alone, which is a bit of a ball ache, but hopefully in time we'll be able to pay it off ASAP, you know. That is the plan. Insurance, you're wondering, how much is it for me? So I am 21 years old. I have on my vehicle three year, three and a half years of no claims. So I never touch wood, never been in a crash, never claimed. So they, obviously I went through Admiral. I went first on Quote Zone, have a look at that, see what... Um, best for me i tried to add my let's say parents on or so to the insurance but that didn't really do much made it a bit more expensive for them my parents have no claims so the with everything um breakdown cover 
with the goods on the back that is all insured as well for two thousand pounds breakdown cover for europe as well if i ever want to take this somewhere somewhere else in here <laughs> drive down a holiday I'm covered business miles i think yearly is like six thousand or so and then like two thousand personal miles Literally everything included, wing screen, blah, 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 Admiral are good, you know. Legal cover, legal protection, everything is in there. And I have no cl no claims, like zero years, no claims on the van because I've never had a personal insurance on the van before. I used to work at Tesco as a delivery driver, so I had experience from that, but I didn't really put that down because I don't think there's a way for it. So my monthly for the insurance is £120. In my opinion, that is not too bad for a 21 year old having a caddy. I'm guessing there's probably someone out there that has it cheaper, but not too bad, not too bad. Tax on the caddy, I believe has gone up. I'm paying it monthly as well, and I think that's 28 pounds or so. So the overall cost of this, let me do some mathematical equations, blah, blah, blah. Let me pause the video. And all that mathematical equations in my head, not using the calculator. The cost of this monthly without the fuel cost and stuff, because we obviously see how it, well it does with the water tank and everything, and it's going to be quite heavy. It is just under £500. So that's the van finance, the tax road, and the insurance. What else is there? I think that's it. Obviously, maintenance costs, so it was it tyres or so, blah, blah, blah. Servicing costs, you have to save for that. Fuel costs, don't know how much a month, you know. It's probably decent on fuel right now, to be honest. It's a 2 litre diesel engine. It's currently, I think, on my way, it's in like 6 miles per gallon, which is amazing, which is really, really good. It's better than the Mini, better than the GT86 I had. That was doing, when you put the foot down, 6, six MPG, which was not great, not great. But yeah, guys, stay tuned because there's a lot more things that's going to be happening to this van, such as the sound system, like we've done on the GT86. The little detail styling, so the sun strip, the number plate change we're going to do, the little daddy digas at the back. And uh, many other things, the steering wheel, we're going to do the steering wheel, a nice proper detail of the outside at some point. I quickly done like a one stage, quickly over the ceramic coating that they applied. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys love this van. I am more than grateful to have this. Obviously, hard work pays off. And if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. That's what I believe in. And yeah, if you work hard, God will bless you. A hundred, a hundred percent. So yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for many more videos. Love you all. Bye-bye.